have 18 yards to cut today. It's been uh, raining all night, quit raining about two hours ago. And uh, it's going to make things a little slow going because the grass is going to be so wet. But um, we, it's supposed to be a nice day. It's supposed to be between 75 and 80 degrees today and it's, and it's supposed to be sunny. So the clouds are starting to push off and uh, once the sun comes out starts drying things up, things will go quickly for us. But other than that, uh, we're going to have a good day and we'll see you at the first yard. Okay, we're at our first yard. Uh, it's a business. We try to get to it uh, early in the morning before it gets too busy here. First yard is done. I think he's just doing a little finish up and then uh, we'll be out of here in the next couple minutes there. So we will see you at the next yard. Okay, we're at another uh, fairly decent sized yard for us. We use uh, two mowers. Uh, Vicki cuts that in the front and I cut in the back along the pond. But right now she's got a tree laying down in the back. So it's going to be a fun thing to mow around.
take the screen out because it sounds like it's plugged.
Okay, that's my buddy Pete and his daughter cutting the field, the baseball field across the across the street there. Uh, good people there. Known them for quite some time, but I want to give you an idea, show you what this yard looks like after we're done with it. It's like I said, it, it's it's a difficult yard to cut. It's uh, it's always wet, and we cut it once every two weeks. And of course, she's got a tree that fell down, and she just hasn't got anybody to get it here yet. But well, more does a pretty decent job in this. But the biggest problem is, is it's every other week, and when we get here, oh, it's at least seven, eight inches high, and this yard never dries out. And because it's always wet and it's so tall, if I don't bag it, I have to go over it three to four times just to get rid of the clippings and the clumps. And I just haven't find, found a good way to do it yet. But problem, the other problem I have is with this mower. Because it's so wet and everything, there used to be a baffle that covered up that opening to stop everything from coming back. But what that baffle does, it leaves a one inch trail down every single pass. For as wet as the, our area is, it's always a problem and then you'll see me on the video I keep checking to see if it's plugged up and it plugs up on a regular basis because I go a little bit too fast because it is so wet and so tall it clogs up on me so I have to slow it right down and it's just a this is my uh, let's see I had a Husqvarna last year that did the same exact thing so I don't think there's gonna be any answers to this uh, problem I do have though with that being open there is is the grass clippings are shooting out here all the time so it turns everything all green and you'll see clumps of clump, or chunks every once in a while come flying out but when that baffle when that baffle was in there in the center time and the center there it also when you were, when I was cutting wet grass, it also, the grass would hit up against the edge of that and drop off in the yard. So I'd have to go back over it again and cut it. So I just removed that whole baffle and I got rid of the clumps dropping off when it's wet. But it's still, I haven't found an answer yet. I think I'm gonna make my own shield on there. And when I get time, I've got too many other things going on right now, but when I got time, might be a winter project. I'm just going to suffer through it this year. We only got two full months of grass cutting, then the leaf season starts up. But I think I'm going to fight with it through this year, and then that might be the fall or winter project. Actually, be a winter project because we're not going to have time in the fall. So um, we're going to keep on cutting, pushing on the next one, and we'll see you at the next yard. Okay, we are done for the day. We got all our lawns done, no mishaps, no, no breakdowns. And all we gotta do now is just go on unload and call her a night. So everybody have a good evening and I'll talk at you tomorrow.